Let's start our first session. To do this, we'll hit Command N or go to File, New Session. Let's give this session the name First Session. The next part is critical. We'll choose where on our hard drive we wish to store the session. It's a good idea in Pro Tools to use a separate hard drive for your session. You can choose to browse your computer by choosing the downward arrow. I'll choose the scratch disk hard drive. For our session parameters, we'll choose an AIFF audio file type, a sample rate of 44.1, and a bit depth of 24 bit. We'll choose the last in out settings. I'm using an Mbox 2 with my G5 tower. Now I'll choose save. We'll toggle to the edit window and open up the left and right panes. Before we go any further, let's look at where Pro Tools stored the session on our hard disk. We'll, not, we'll navigate to scratch disk and we see that there's a first session folder. All of our files are located in this folder. We see the first session.ptf file. This is our actual session file. As well, there are folders for fades, regions, and audio files. One of the most critical folders will be the audio files folder, where all audio will be stored for use in our session. To ensure good file continuity, we'll copy other external data, such as reason files or other files associated with our session, to this folder. We'll go back to our Pro Tools session and take a look at the edit window. Right now our session doesn't have any tracks, so we can choose to create a track by going to Track, New, or Shift-Command-N. We choose which types of tracks we wish to create and how many of them. We'll create one new stereo audio track with samples as resolution. If we want to create multiple types of tracks, we'll choose the plus icon to the right. If we want to not choose to create multiple types, we'll choose the minus icon. Let's choose create. Now we'll rename this track by double clicking the label audio one and typing in a new, a new label for the track. In the comments section, we can add any helpful comments about the track. And we'll choose OK. It's important to label your tracks. For any audio data recorded onto your tracks, we'll take the track name as a prefix. Let's import audio from CD. We'll import it into the regions list by choosing File, Import, Import to Regions List, or Shift-Apple-I. Here we're given a file browser, and I've chosen audio from a CD labeled ACDC. I'll choose the track and wait for the computer to queue it up. On the left portion, we see the regions currently in the file we can choose to audition the regions by choosing the small play icon. Then I'll choose convert to choose which regions to import into the regions list. I'll be importing multiple regions. I can simply double click tracks to add them to the regions to import list. When I'm done, I'll press Done. We'll revisit once we're done importing. When our audio files are done importing, they'll appear in the Regions pane. We see that they're audio files because they have the audio file icon. We can expand the Regions pane by dragging out the rightmost boundary. Here we see at the end that these regions are stereo files, and by clicking the triangle, we can see that they're made up of left, 
and write files. These files can be dragged onto stereo tracks. We'll do that in a minute. To audition the regions, we'll hold Option and we see a speaker icon. Then we'll click and hold on the file to audition. To rename the regions, we'll simply double click the region and rename it. Now, we'll place the region in our edit window by clicking it and dragging it over to the track. Here we're given a waveform readout of the region. Now, if we press play, we'll hear the region as it plays in our project. Let's add another track. Shift Command N. We want to create a new stereo track because we have a stereo region. We'll rename this and now we'll drag out our second region to play with our first region. So when we press play we'll hear both of these regions playing. <laughs> We can go to the mix window and mix the two regions prematurely by simply dragging the fader. And from here we can also play the project. 